it's the same thing as last week. We are basically just job hunting and um, submitting applications, sourcing jobs, as well as uh, working on side projects to keep our GitHub green, as well as working on uh, sharpening our skills for different programming languages. So this week was pretty eventful. I had two interviews this week, one on Thursday and one on Friday. They are both local based company in Texas. And so I interviewed with them um, earlier this week. The one, oh, so to prepare for these interviews, I basically messaged the people on LinkedIn uh, inside the company and I tried to understand more of their culture and ask them questions about how they'd like it on uh, in the company and then something special that they might like about working there. I also prepared some questions for the interviewer um, so that they have uh, they have uh, they can see that I have interest inside the company as well as they had also asked me questions, so I also practice um, some interview questions with my regular group so that I can be more eloquent when I'm answering their questions. And the final thing was just doing some research on the company, looking on their LinkedIn, looking on Glassdoor, looking on their website, just to see what information I can find out about them so that I can better prepare myself to have some talking points for when I actually do meet up with them. And then afterwards, I basically uh, sent them an, a thank you email, basically a, a thanks for their time. And I was also a reminder of what I'm offering them and also keeping the channels of communications open in case they have further questions. And the last thing was basically writing a quick summary of my interview experience with each company. And this is something I've been doing on my own just so that I can look back and reflect on how I can improve on the next one and remembering the questions that they might have asked and the questions that I had asked them. So it's more of like an exercise in um, review more so than like it's required by Lambda or something. This is just something I did on my own. And of course, I do have my own process for keeping track of different applications. And long story short, it's a markdown file. And it has like all the information of the company, the people I've messaged, the messages I've sent out, different important dates, um, links, and that sort of thing. So that's kind of my general process when I'm sourcing jobs and kind of going through the whole process. So I don't have any um, positive news yet in terms of getting uh, to the next stage. So far, the farthest I've gotten is a phone interview, which is a celebration in itself, meaning that there is some interest in, um, in me. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm taking some time here to celebrate on that. And then, uh, so now I'm going to talk about what the interview was like with two of them. Um, the first company was on Thursday. The conversation lasted about maybe 10 minutes overall, if, if that. And the vibe that I really get from them is like, what are your experiences? What are your skills? And how much do you want to be paid for it? It was a very quick interview. It was more like they didn't really care who I was as a person. They just wanted to hire me into their company. And I was I was a little bit taken by that. I'm like, you know, this is a two-way street. It's not just like whatever. Uh, I think the, the big thing with this, this first company was that they were looking for someone with legitimately five years experience. However, they had listed it listed the position as an entry-level position on their LinkedIn jobs and so the general advice that you might find online is that apply anyways right if they list three to five years you might as well just apply anyways because they might hire you uh, regardless however I do feel this company was <laughs> legit looking for somebody that's 
has five years of industry experience. And I don't, I'm not going to like cover that up. I'm not going to say, like, yeah, I've worked five years. I legitimately told them like, I, I had this amount of experience. I reframed it and I said, these are my skills and these are the experiences I have. If you are, uh, if you like that, then you can, we can talk more. If not, then, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's not more I can do. I'm not going to, you know, start fibbing some different positions that I haven't never done before. So suffice to say that interview didn't last too long and uh, it wasn't a bad start. That was my actually my first interview here in this Lambda Next process, but um, it's okay because the next day I knew I had another interview that I had to prepare for. So, you know, you got to keep rolling with it. <laughs> and so that brings me to the second company, which I interviewed with another uh, local based company and it was more of like an e-learning platform and they have a very unique position for a front-end developer and it works also more with the marketing side of things so it's a very interesting position even though I'm still working with HTML CSS JavaScript and jQuery and possibly Vue um, they didn't mention too much but I did see it on their website um, it was a really great great interview overall like it was a 30 minute interview and I got a really good vibe from them and it was a two-way street it felt like we were both asking questions about each other and trying to learn if we were both a good fit for each other so this interview was definitely a lot better than the one on Thursday and some of the questions they asked were are you okay with hacky code basically because they iterate so quickly through um, different changes they're, they're trying a lot of things so they want things that work it might not necessarily necessarily look perfect but it has to work and they asked if I'm okay with that that was one of their questions um, kind of my experiences and then why I decided to switch over to web development now um, considering I was uh, working in the medical field in the past and then last question was something about the salary and um, I think I gave a very fair response because I told them I looked around the average for a front-end developer in that area and I told them the average and I said, you know, listen, uh, even though this is the average, I would be willing to negotiate and work with you because I know that you guys have a budget as well. Um, and then there was also, there's also going to be negotiations about the benefits as well. So there's a lot of leeway when you come down to negotiations uh, with the salary. And I think I communicated that clearly with him and he understood what I was saying. Some of the questions I asked the company was, you know, where do I fit into the de development team? How does the development team fit into the whole company? Um, how is the work culture? How is the uh, commute? the hours and that sort of thing. So I definitely learned a lot from the company. And afterwards I sent them a pleasant email just basically saying that this interview really brought a good close to the week for me. And I was very happy with the, the interview itself. And I think that's gonna pretty much cover what happened this week. I, I didn't wanna talk too much longer, take uh, over 10 minutes here, but you're free to ask me more questions. I'm gonna continue my process here, just applying to jobs, working on code and that sort of thing. But that has been week two here at Lambda Next and onwards to week three. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you guys next week.